Hey guys, Todd here. Welcome back to our 2018 F-150 build series. In our last episode, we gave a major facelift to our project truck and what a huge difference some bumpers and a grill make. Now it's time to hook up the lights. And here are our harnesses. Uh, we've got this, it's gonna be going to our light bar, our front facing pods. Uh, we've got cornering pods. We've also got our reverse lights. Uh, all of these have to mount to our battery. Then we've got to run these through the firewall. We've got to figure out where to drill all the holes for these switches. And it really would be nice for those switches to match. I've got a better idea. It's a power distribution system called S-Pod. This is a clean build and we're not about to clutter it up with a bunch of unnecessary wires and random switches. We're gonna mount the box inside the hood and route all our wires to it. That way, this is the only thing that's going to have to draw power from the battery. It's also the only thing that routes a cable into the cab. From there, we just find a good place to mount our bank of switches. We've got a lot more power we're drawing from the battery, which can really shorten the life of a normal battery. That's why we decided to upgrade to the Optima Yellow Top. It not only has the latest in AGM technology, but it's also got deep cycle capabilities, so it's designed to handle that extra load. Once we get this tightened up, we can go inside the cab and figure out where to run that switch. Just to the left of the steering column is a great place to mount this switch. It's gonna be nice and tucked out of the way so we don't have to worry about it getting hit by a knee. Plus, it's gonna be following a factory harness that's gonna make this cable really easy to wire up. This is how I've got our buttons laid out. I've got our outside cornering lights set up on separate circuits so they can operate independent of each other. I've also got them set up as momentary so they're only illuminated as I have the button depressed. This is gonna make for some excellent cornering lights. I've got our light bar set up on the same circuit as our center pods because we're always gonna be using them in conjunction together. Our backup lights I've got right here because that's the most intuitive place for that button. I've also got two open buttons in case we decide to expand and add some extra electrical accessories. Well, now that we have all the electronics hooked up, let's go ahead and turn our attention to some of the accessories that a lot of times are overlooked, but they can really help out the overall aesthetics and function of the truck. We're gonna replace the in-cabin filter with a K&N cabin filter. Now, K&N is already popular for their high-performance cleanable air filters that install inside your engine, but they also make cleanable air filters that go inside the cabin. And since this is cleanable, we don't have any more trips to the parts store for an air filter. Moving to the back, we have the Husky wheel well liners. Now, this is a simple fix to an unsightly part of the truck. Ford really neglects that back wheel well area. There's lots of nooks and crannies that catch a lot of junk, and even if you spend a lot of time to detail that out, it still looks unfinished. 
This is a really simple install to give you that finished look. And if you get a little bit of mud or dirt in there, a simple spray out just melts it away. When I open this tailgate, you may notice something. It doesn't lower nice and easy. Some trucks come from the factory with a tailgate damper. This one did not. So we're getting the DZ tailgate assist and we're gonna install it on this truck. Because those new tires stick out a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and install the extended fenders from Bushwhacker. This is gonna give us a little bit more coverage around our fender area, so we won't have to worry about redecorating the truck every time we hit a puddle. Also, this matte black finish is really gonna pop. Underneath the back seat, we're installing the Husky gearbox. Now this offers nice wide storage, just installs with a simple strap. It's gonna keep all your items from sliding around the back seat every time you hit the brakes. Plus you got a divider for organized storage. And then once your seat's down, it covers all that up. Well, we're finally done putting all the parts in this truck and I'm really digging the vibe. But I wanna know what you think, so let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date and ring that bell if you want to be notified when we release new content because in the next episode, we're taking this out on a little adventure to see how she handles the real world. Well, thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.